how would you like to lose weight, make more money, live a happier, less stressful life, and help the environment? Sounds like a dream, huh? All this can be accomplished if we as Americans control our number one addiction. What is that addiction? Not sex scandals, not reality TV, not chocolate. Americans have an addiction to oil. More specifically, gasoline. The current situation for anyone that's gone to the gas pump lately is that gas prices are out of control. I just dropped $70 in my tank the other day, and it just seems like it's going up and up. We are reaching a crisis situation. Gas prices, pollution, greenhouse gas, and our reliance on other countries to get our gas. These countries like, say, Saudi Arabia, Venezuela, they don't exactly like Americans as much and don't have our best interests in mind. I was in Saudi Arabia and Iraq, and I don't like relying on them to drive my car. So, how did we get into this situation? Number one, demand. We are thirsty, and we like to drive big cars, especially in Texas. The bigger, the better. Number two, all of these alternative methods, while nice and are talked about, are, are pretty slow to get into the mainstream. Ethanol, great idea. Take our food, make it into fuel. It's not working out so well. How else did we get into this situation? Can't remember that third point. Okay, how do we get out of this situation? Two things. Drive less. Drive smart. You want to lose weight? What do you need to do? Simple, eat less calories. You want to cut the cost of gasoline? What do we need to do? Drink less gallons. Okay? So, let's talk about drive less. Things we can do. Number one, drive less. A concept I'd like to call errand stringing. Combining trips, drive and plan smartly. My husband Steve's an expert at this. Anytime we have to go out in the car, he has to like plan five different things to do along the way. It's a great idea. Combine your trips all into one, string them along, drive less. Second thing, carpooling. This is a neat thing. I researched it a lot this week. There's a bunch of carpooling sites that are like eHarmony.com. <laughs> E-Ride e Share, Share the Ride, Divide.com. You go to these sites, you click in where you live, area code, and where you need to commute, and there's 50 people there that want to carpool with you. So carpooling, less cars on the road, another added benefit, you get to bond with people. You get to talk to people, less road rage. <laughs> so I, I just think carpooling is a great idea. So a couple of the websites, just for your notes, the good ones, carpoolconnect.com, eRideShare.com, and DivideTheRide.com. I thought that was neat, Divide the Ride. So not only can you have less road rage, use less gas, but might meet some friends along the way and bring them to a Toastmaster meeting. All right, so that's the driving less. What about the driving smart? Some of the things we can do is lighten up. I remember as a child in the 1970s, these long gas lines. And as a result, we started wanting and buying smaller cars. What happened to that? Why suddenly in the 1990s did we forget all of that and start building a Ford Expedition, which I think is obscene, and I'm sorry for anyone that owns one, but that's a little bit too big for my taste. Hummers? Oh my gosh. Having driven them in the Army, I don't want to go anywhere near a Hummer. So, driving light. We need to get back to lighter, more fuel-efficient cars. And I was very encouraged the other day when I saw a billboard that said, I want my MPG. 
Like the song, I Want My MTV. Love it. So that's encouraging. Hybrids are coming. Drive light. Another thing near and dear to my heart, bicycling. I used to commute to work. I got this handy dandy map of Austin that shows all of these bike routes where you can travel north and south, east and west. Now Austin is, is not that big of a city where people can't commute to work on their bicycle. <coughs> Take the cars off the road, save the planet, get healthier, lose weight. See how this is all coming together? One big wonderful dream. So, these are some of the things we can do. A another one would be hybrid cars. Encouraged, anyone here have a Toyota Prius or a hybrid car? One? Only one. But there are a lot of people in Austin specifically, Southern California, more and more people driving a Prius or something like that. Good friend of mine wants to get an electric car. There are electric cars now, one charge, 60 miles. Not bad, and it also has gas. So those are some of the things you can think about on driving smarter. Drive less, drive smart. So, are you ready to lose weight, have a less stressful life, save the planet and the environment of greenhouse gas? Do it all today. So I encourage you to drive less and drive smart. Toastmaster.